a woman is screened high risk for preeclampsia, what can be done to prevent this disorder? Is it safe to take aspirin? There are ways of preventing preeclampsia. Uh, extensive studies now have shown that if we screen uh, in the first trimester to identify the high risk group, group uh, and we give them aspirin, uh, a minimum of 100 milligrams per day from the 12th to the 36th week of pregnancy, we can have a substantial reduction in the proportion of women that we develop the most severe types of preeclampsia that require preterm birth. There are some suggestions that perhaps we should give aspirin to everybody and not bother screening. I think that that would be wrong because we know that uh, in big uh, population studies, uh, aspirin can increase considerably the risk of death from hemorrhagic events in the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. So I think the appropriate way of doing things is to screen and then treat the high risk group. Aspirin is useful for the prevention of preterm preeclampsia, but it doesn't have any significant effect on the incidence of term preeclampsia. And unfortunately, uh, term preeclampsia is three times as common as preterm preeclampsia. Although it has less adverse effects on the mother and the baby, because it has a greater contribution overall, the proportion of adverse events that comes from the term and the preterm uh, preeclampsia cases may be of a similar importance. We have carried out a major study of screening at 36 weeks, and then we gave pravastadin to the high-risk group, but unfortunately that did not have an impact in reducing the rate of preeclampsia. Future research will address the question of whether having identified a very, very high-risk group in the third trimester by advocating early delivery, we would reduce the rate of uh, term preeclampsia. Another major impact uh, uh, intervention in the prevention of preeclampsia that unfortunately is confined only to, to countries that are deficient in calcium intake is supplementation of the diet with calcium. In such countries, it was reported that calcium reduces the rate of both preterm and term preeclampsia by about 50%. It has not been shown to have any beneficial effect in places where there is no uh, calcium uh, deficiency. The real question now is for developed countries that are meant to be non-calcium deficient, we can identify somehow, and it's not easy, there is not a simple blood test that can be carried out, the subgroup that are calcium deficient that would most probably benefit from calcium supplementation. <music>